Hi, it's Scott here with uh, 802 Outdoor Adventures. And uh, I found this this summer. Looks like a just a hunk of worthless metal. But if you compare the shape to a paddle lock that I found, it sort of has that same wide to narrow shape. And right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it humps up like there might be a, a keyhole guard there. So instead of just whacking away at it and scraping, I figured we'd fire up the electrolysis unit and I'd show you my setup here. So here's my power supply. I'm running a straight up five volts and I've already hooked it up. That's why it's just kind of dark. So I already dropped this in the water to make sure I had a good connection. Uh, Negative goes on your part, positives over here, uh, and I got a motor brush which, well, where, yeah, a motor brush which seems to be a good conductor. I used to have these uh, pieces of steel all the way around. I had a wire that ran around, and I'd hook it up, hook my lead up to the to the bolt there. But these corroded so bad after the first two uses that it doesn't even doesn't even work anymore. I'd have to pull these out, grind them down, and uh, I figured with four of them it would be better, but I found I had some old motor brushes. Uh, luckily we work with a motor shop and he saved me some brushes, so sent them along to me. So we'll fire this thing up. <clears throat> All I had before was a cell phone battery charger. That worked plenty fine. And I've, I've seen uh, just regular automotive 12 volt battery chargers used. So I don't know if you can see if the camera will pick this up. But there's a little bit of uh, like foaming going on or bubbles. So that tells me that I've got good connection and it's starting to do its job. So we're going to let this go for a couple hours and I'll be back and we'll check on it. See what it looks like. See how much stuff we can get to scrape off from it. And hopefully we'll have a, a front plate to a padlock. That would be really cool. S something cool out of, uh, out of just a piece of junk. So something I was going to throw away. All right, we're about an hour in on this and you can see the bubbles. I don't know if you can see the piece under there, but you can see the three or four lines of bubbles or five screen, streaming out of that thing. I got good contact in there and we're cooking away. So we'll come back in the next hour or so and uh, see how it goes. Let's see if I can't get that in focus a little bit better, maybe. Here we go. Is that better? There, like five lines of uh, bubbles coming out of that thing. Cool, it's working. Just to show you what we're running here for voltage. This is a f constant five volt output. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Come on, there we go. Five volts DC. That's all we're using. I seem to have acquired a little helper. That's Remy. Remy came up to help me help me do this. She was a rescue. My wife rescued two cats. A girl at my daughter's apartment got evicted and left the cats behind, so we took them in. So far they get along pretty good with a dog that's been here 15 years. It's a good thing she's an old dog. and <laughs> I'm not sure they'd get along very well, but she doesn't care, so. Right, Remy?
So I think I said in the beginning of the video, you don't need anything like this. I bought this because I run uh, multiple stuff um, off from it. These, these two banks right here um, are adjustable. So a lot of times if I'm running like a pump for my gold processing stuff or whatever I have hooked into it, I can adjust the, the voltage so I can speed up or slow down the pump. I think I run the gold wheel off from that also because you can adjust the pump speed and the, the wheel speed even though I think it has a rheostat on it for the wheel anyway. But anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, I dug this out. Um, this is pretty much what I used to use. This is a three volt, this has a three volt DC output. I just cut the cut the end off, plugged it in, and used my meter to figure out what the uh, positive and negative sides were. The wire is marked, but I don't remember which one's which. That's why I always check it with a meter. Um, separate the wires. You can buy a kit of uh, alligator clamps online, and I just clamped on a couple alligator clips. Like I said, I'm using a used motor brush, but you can use a piece of metal. Uh, any container will work for water. This water is pretty muddy because I, I, I just leave this stuff in there. Oh, and the other thing is when I started, I mixed, I think, some baking powder in there to make it more conductive. Is that, the, is that, the, is that what it does? Anyway. But there's so much iron dissolved in that water now, I don't, you don't really need that. So I just refill it when it needs it. Anyway, that's the easy way. Just a, if you have an old AC adapter that outputs DC kicking around, that's all you need. Real cheap to build, and they work really well. We got probably a half an hour more to go on that, so I just thought I'd chime in and If you, uh, I just thought I'd chime in and uh, show you what I used to use. Um, I've seen other guys use battery chargers. I think I said that already. But you can go online, Google this process. I think it's actually reverse electrolysis. And you can, uh, there's all kinds of stuff on there about it. I'm just going to make a quick mention that uh, just in case you don't want to build your own setup like this, uh, you can buy something online. Uh, head over to my friends at High, Plain, High Plains Prospectors, and uh, they sell something called an ugly box, and there might be some other stuff over there for doing this kind of thing. Uh, it'll probably set you back a little over 100 buck, but uh, you'll have it all together in one kit. And I know the ugly box comes with a few attachments and accessories. I've never used one, so I can't, there's a cat. So I can't tell you if it's any good or not, but uh, maybe someday I'll, I'll grab it and, and uh, see. Anyway, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. It is an affiliate link and use it if you want to. That's that. All right, it's <clears throat> All right, it's been more than a couple hours cuz I got to editing another video. Turn that off. Let's pull this thing out. Nope, I think it's going to need more time. Usually that stuff will just come right off of there. Nope, that's still a little bit's coming off, but not like I want it to. All right, well, we'll put it back in. Turn the 
this back on. Make sure I didn't lose my connection. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Oh, starting to fizz. All right. Well, we'll come back to it. We'll give it more time. Sometimes it just takes time. Got to be patient. Well, it looks like someone's keeping a close eye on our part here. Yeah, it's been like four or five hours. Yeah, you can sort of see the bubbling going on. We're getting there. With the uh, with the five volts, sorry, you just I don't know what her fascination is with that tank, but <clears throat> with the five volts, it's going to take a while. So I didn't know maybe it would loosen it up in a couple hours, but if you use more voltage, then it'll dissolve the base metal faster, which I don't really care, but. Uh, I could hook that up and run 10 volts or whatever onto the other other side of that system and adjust the uh, voltage, but eh, I got time. If it's tomorrow, it's tomorrow. We'll keep you posted. So I pulled this out of the water, and as soon as I did, this piece fell off. So I thought I'd just turn on the camera and uh, pick around at this a little bit. I guess the rest of it's pretty stuck on there. I'd like to think that uh, it's a little soft. I think I'm gonna let this go more. Ooh, well, that was a surprise. Well, that doesn't look to me like there's anything in there that would indicate that 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 was what I was thinking, you know, the lock cover or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's peeling a little bit. Sort of guessing that that's not what I'm thinking it was, or what I was hoping it was. It looks to me like it's just a piece of metal. I don't know if you can hear that rumbling. But the uh, it snowed today, so the plows are... The plow's going by. Oh, there we go. I took a big chunk off. Well, I think it was just ironically a uh, a piece of metal that might have been shaped like like the paddle lock cover. So. Chalk that experiment up to a loss. Anyway. So that's what it is. <laughs> the cat's curious again. <laughs> What's the matter, Remy? <laughs> Oh well, you know it's sort of an inexpensive way to play around with some of your iron relics that are encrusted in crap. Kind of fun. Sometimes, you know, that could have been something. Who knows?
I'd have thrown it away ordinarily. Anyway, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. See you bye.